Here's another great story from Better.TV. Another big cost of a wedding, photographs. We all want to have memories of the big day, but that picture can cost big bucks if you don't do it the right way. Well, Brian Marcus is the co-owner of Fred Marcus Photography New York. He's here to show us not only how to get the biggest bang for your buck, but also all the new hot trends in wedding photography. Things are changing, right? They are changing. <laughs> Welcome Things to the show. Great. You guys have been around Thanks almost 70 me. years. We have. It's a, I'm the third generation of the business. So you know what you're talking about. I, I think just, so, just yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have a lot of experience. Well, let's talk about when a bride and a groom come to you and they say, hey, look, we want these photos taken, but we don't know the first thing at all about them, and we don't want to spend a lot of money. What questions should you ask a photographer? I mean, the first thing I say is, you know, you don't want to skimp on the actual photographer. Um, there are things after the wedding that you can do to save money. Um, we actually uh, go with a cost per photo basis. So if a, a bride would like to keep it low, she keeps 50, 60 photographs in an album. The options are a big deal. You've got to ask what the options are, right? I try to keep the options options down, but yes, the <laughs> options are, are a big deal. It gets, gets confusing. I was just going to say, I wonder why. It gets yeah, a little yeah, too yeah. confusing. You've got some examples of, of photo albums here as well. You're going to talk to us about... I do, about... and they're in, in different price brackets. Okay. Uh, the first one over here, actually, we do uh, is called a bordered album and each individual photograph is in, uh, bordered inside a page. This is gorgeous. And it's one photograph per page. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the photographs are really great. The clients love them. If they want to keep the price down, then we really just offer one to a page, maybe 50, 60 to an album. And luckily, oh. uh, we do tell great stories, so that, that 50 pictures is definitely enough um, oh. if this is what you want to do. I was just going to say, from beginning to end, it should really just tell the story like what, video on paper. 100%. Okay, now if you 100%. have a little bit more to spend... Then we're going to the next one here. What's yeah, the difference here? Uh, similar type of book, but you'll see here we're using a little bit more of a design. Mm -hmm. uh, different uh, photographs, different sizes per page, different okay. size photographs. Right. Um, tell a little bit better of a story. Um, and it takes a little bit more time to actually make this, and that's the only reason why the cost is a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. This is a great shot. Okay, and then obviously you've got other examples of more expensive albums too, but can we talk about some of the new trends as far as what people are doing with their photos? To Things totally, we'll yeah, here. we have some stuff over here. Basically, what we've been seeing is a huge market for engagement pictures. Yeah. So uh, over here we have an engagement album that some of our photo photographs are displayed in. I don't know if you can, you can see this over here, but mm -hmm. we have numerous photographs. Uh, per page of all the different engagement shoots that we okay. do. Okay, instead of just one photo itself too, right? What about exactly. us having two photographers versus just one? I mean, is that um, I, I always say it depends on the amount of people that are at the party, but all, also it's an aesthetic reason to have a second person. You want two angles on a certain event. Uh, during the portraits, if you want some candid stuff while you have some posed pictures, that's a reason to Obviously have Obviously a little more expensive to have the two photographers there, but you get better photos, right? I more. think you get more photographs and a bigger selection. Yeah. Okay, candids versus posed photos? There's we get it all the time. We do both. Um, I think that candidates are just about having good instinct and having good timing. Okay. Uh, and, and, you know, we try to be aware of everything, all the reactions that are happening, all the fun stuff. And, and I think a good photographer will capture both throughout and the wedding. what's this about everybody using DVDs as thank you cards? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a DVD slideshow. We've been doing a lot where, where our guests, uh, I'm sorry, our customers will actually send to their guests a DVD slideshow uh, organized with all our photographs, put to music, and I at like the end that. say, you know, thank you for coming. It's, it's cute. See, now that's a great gift. That's definitely different. You guys brought a lot of good designs and Thank ideas you. here as well. We appreciate it. And if you want to check out more of the hottest trends in wedding photography, check out Brian's website. It's fredmarcus.com. Thank you for watching Better.TV. Please email us your thoughts, ideas at Better.TV. Together, we'll make your home, family, and life better.